Hey, what's up? Amelia here. Let's see what's making news. Forbes has just released its list of top paid Instagrammers. There are lots of people making bank on the app by promoting products or doing, well, influencer things. Let's find out how that works and who made the list. In the top spot is this guy, Cristiano Ronaldo, Juventus soccer player and one of the best paid athletes in the world, pocketing more than $50 million a year as a footballer. But according to one study, he actually earns more than that from Instagram. How? Well, turns out if you have millions of followers, brands will splash some serious cash to get you to post and endorse their products on your socials. And with 187 million followers, the report reckons Ronaldo is making about 1.4 million bucks per Insta post, which adds up to about $70 million a year. In Australia, it has to be clear when influencers are trying to use their massive reach to sell you something. So you'll see tags like ad or paid partnership somewhere. And people have been critical of celebs not being honest about it in the past. So who else is cashing in on the gram? As well as soccer players, you'll find three of the Kardashian-Jenner clan and Selena Gomez. Unfortunately for all us regular humans, the top 10 were all kind of really famous before they became insta-rich. So I think I'll hedge my bets and keep my day job. K-pop sensation BTS has taken TikTok by storm. After announcing their debut on Twitter, their TikTok account became the fastest ever to reach 1 million followers, taking just three hours and 31 minutes. It's now grown to more than 5 million followers. Good news for AFLW fans, the 2020 season is set to go ahead after players agreed on a new deal. They've been in discussions with the league for a while because while the comps expanded to 14 teams, there will be just eight weeks of games played, so not every team will play every other team. But they've now agreed on an extra week of finals and there will be more regular season games in the coming years. Pay's going up too, with the best players now taking home around $30,000, which is still just a fraction of what the best AFL players are paid. Now to a school in Brisbane that's taking its new sports program very seriously. Esports program, that is. This is all part of Chisholm Catholic College's esports training. Yep, really. It turns out hitting up the gym is good for your gaming. It really does help with the concentration. Just being able to breathe, slow things down and have that uh, mental resilience as well. Of course, they also spend time on their computers and learning strategies to be good gamers. Yep, this school is treating its esports as seriously as any other sport because players could make a career out of it. The esports industry is worth more than $1 billion. Wowzers! With huge competitions like the Fortnite World Cup, where earlier this year, the winner, Booga, won $4.3 million. These students aren't quite at that level yet. They're currently competing in a small competition with other Queensland schools called the Chisholm Invitational. I've been considering uh, entering esports as a professional player, but obviously I've been putting my Somewhat realistic goals first before I try and make that big leap for esports. Maybe we're looking at some future esport champions. Now for this next segment, we're going to play a little guessing game. It's sink or swim. Will this little guy sink or swim? Well, swim, obviously, it's a platypus. But when this little monotreme family celebrated their birthdays, ranging from 8 to 26 at Victoria's Hillsville Sanctuary, keepers weren't sure how the gifts would go down. A mermaid boogie board and a bubble jet stream. Heh, looks like the jet stream was a hit. This bus just didn't stand a chance in the game of sink or swim when it fell into a massive sinkhole in the city of Pittsburgh in the US. Luckily, it wasn't a full bus. The driver only had one passenger on board at the time and both managed to escape without too much trouble. And this, well, you'd hope this wouldn't sink. It's a floating solar-powered device built to scoop plastic out of rivers. It's the latest creation by Boyan Slat, the Dutch inventor who's been trying to clean up our oceans. To help demonstrate how the river garbage boat works, these little plastic rubber duckies swam into the machine before sinking into a big old rubbish bin. Rest in peace, rubber duckies. Rest in peace. 
Well, that's the news for now, but if you like watching things sink or swim, then make sure you hit that subscribe button so you never miss out on an episode of BTN Newsbreak. And if you liked this video, then please give it a thumbs up. We really appreciate it, and we really hope you did like it. Thanks.